Welcome to the Ontario Veterinary College, OVC, where we recently saw a highly unusual case. My name is Dr. Andrew Peregrine, and I'm a clinical parasitologist here at OVC. My name is Dr. Evan Crawford. I'm a surgery resident here. Um, I worked with Nuka while she was in clinics. And my name is Dr. Amit Singh. I'm a small animal surgeon in the Department of Clinical Studies. Back in the fall of 2014, I received a phone call from one of OVC's recent grads saying that he was examining a dog called Nuka who had very dark red urine. He'd taken some pictures under a microscope, sent them to me, and when I looked at them, there were eggs present that looked very characteristic of a highly unusual parasite, the giant kidney worm, the largest parasite that occurs in any animal. Since this was so unusual, I contacted my two colleagues here to see if they'd be interested in carrying out the surgery. Uh, and they can tell you what subsequently happened. So we saw Nuka on an appointment. We talked about her history and went through everything that she'd done so far. Uh, we talked about what we wanted to do for her in terms of figuring out where exactly those worms had spread to and talking with the owners about what we had to do for the disease she had. Uh, and then she stayed with us. We did surgery on her. Uh, she left the hospital a few days later and hopefully isn't gonna go on and live a happy and healthy life. So why don't we take a look at some of that video right now? As mentioned, the veterinarian that phoned me up had collected red urine from Nuka, put it under a microscope, and saw these very characteristic eggs of the giant kidney worm um, present in large numbers. And it was because of that he referred it, the dog to the OVC, where ultrasound was carried out on the abdomen of the dog. And this is an image of Nuka's right kidney. Multiple cross-sections of parasites are shown by these arrows. And what also was observable was that almost all the normal tissue of that kidney had disappeared and therefore it did need to be removed from the dog. You can see here we're prepping Nuka for surgery. She's had a sterile clip and she's getting draped. And then we started off with a laparoscopic approach. So using a small camera through a, a miniature portal to have a look inside of her abdomen and, and confirm again what exactly was going on. You can see we're getting ready to go through the body wall and we put a port in. And then we use a small camera to have a good look around in the abdomen. You can see in her case that we found multiple egg deposits from the, the parasites within her abdomen, as well as a free worm within the abdomen. Very characteristic in appearance, um, dark to bright red, and almost, well, at least a half a centimeter in diameter. After this, uh, we had a good look around the abdomen, explored every surface. We had planned, we knew we had to convert to an open procedure anyway, but this gives us better visualization of, of, of the worm itself, as well as some of those worm deposits. After we opened her abdomen, we first removed the free worm that we knew was present, and we had a doubled look around again to make sure there weren't any more, because it's very important you, that you remove all of them. And then we subsequently went on to remove her kidney. Again, as we knew from before surgery, uh, the other parasite in her body had completely obliterated any functional tissue within that kidney, and we had to remove it to get rid of that worm as well. The total surgery was probably about an hour and a half. You can see here the final step as we removed that kidney uh, from her abdomen. And, and then after this, we had one more look around before we started to, to close her up and, and get her ready for recovery. Now the great thing about this video is that it really showcases all of the various technologies that we're using at the OVC and particularly in small animal surgery. We used minimally invasive techniques, so the insertion of a small camera into Nuka's abdomen to investigate uh, the locations of possible worms. Uh, Dr. Crawford is wearing a GoPro camera where we can videotape uh, procedures to be used for future learning opportunities. And there's uh, also an iPad and lots of uh, mobile phones that were used to capture this procedure. This is just uh, the video of the kidney shortly after it's been removed. Um, Evan's cut into it and one um, female parasite's been removed from this kidney. And so that's the parasite that was producing the eggs that had initially been detected in Nuka's um, urine. Again, very characteristic in appearance, larger than the other one, which was a male parasite, but dark red in appearance. After this, Nuka had a fairly uneventful recovery from anesthesia. Uh, she spent a day or two with us in the ICU, and then she was all ready to go home after we got her onto some oral pain medications. You can see here, clearly happy to see her owners and back being outside, and, and appears to be at least appreciative of everything we did for her while she was in hospital. So always nice to see uh, some of the patients that we, uh, that we do surgery on, you know, appreciating our work and, and, uh, and happy to be leaving the hospital. You know, hopefully that we don't have to see them again. So. Definitely getting a little bit of love from her.
So as you can see, everything went well with Nuka's surgery and she left the clinic looking great. We spoke to her owners uh, six months after surgery, just a little while ago here, and she continues to do well at home. She's not having any persistent problems and hasn't had any recurrence. You can see the video demonstrates some of the newer techniques we're, we're able to use in hospital here and help out some of our canine patients. If you have any questions though about this case or about potentially referring a case to the OBC, um, please go onto the OBC's website and you can find all the information you require there.